we, we are in discussions with both the Zimbabwean government and the South African government on the future of the Zimbabwe exemption permits. We all know that they will expire on the 31st of December 2021. Up to this date, no announcement has been made on the future of the special permits. Uh, we've been talking to the embassy in Pretoria, Zimbabwean embassy. We've been talking to the government in Zimbabwe. We are talking to government in South Africa. Uh, we believe that an announcement is going to be made. In our last discussion, we were informed that an announcement would be made. Uh, but we continue to engage uh, even the African National Congress because it is the policy, it is the governing party that crafts policies for the government. Uh, we also talk to its alliance partners, the COSATO and the SACP, on the future of the Zimbabwe exemption payments. We understand, though, the challenges uh, that, that, that uh, uh, come with the issue of renewing uh, the permits in 2021, given the economic meltdown uh, uh, following uh, COVID-19. Uh, but we are hopeful that uh, uh, people will not be sent back to Zimbabwe, uh, because in our view, we do not think uh, that, that they will go back. But with the other fear that we also have, uh, which, which we are also engaging the Zimbabwean government, is the issue of passports. Uh, uh, currently, uh, those in South Africa asked to pay 318 US dollars. A number of people that are applying for these passports are people of low skill who do not earn much. You will find that a family of four will be needing these passports. So one will be looking at a, a 318 by four. When you convert it in rents, it's about 20,000 rents for a family of four, which most people do not have. So we're still talking to government of Zimbabwe to ensure that uh, Zimbabweans working in South Africa, many of whom are of low skill, uh, uh, do qualify to apply for a $60 uh, permit. When we spoke to the government in Zimbabwe, we told that the $60 permit, uh, US dollar permit is for those that are in Zimbabwe. Uh, uh, and again, even if uh, their argument is that even if you were to include Zimbabweans in South Africa, there is a long backlog in terms of dealing with the applications. Uh, so these are the discussions which uh, we are also uh, currently having with the Zimbabwean government, the issues are around uh, uh, payments. And then the final issue, uh, in 2017, we had approached uh, uh, the Zimbabwean government, uh, asking them to facilitate uh, the coming of the officials from the Register General's office uh, to assist to document the Zimbabweans who are in South Africa. In our community work, we have discovered that we have many Zimbabweans that do not have Zimbabwean documents, be it a birth certificate, an ID, or a passport. Uh, at that time, in 2017, we were told that um, the Office of Register General was busy with the voter registration, so there was no budget uh, for them to come here. And of course, after that, there was a, 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 a change of government. Uh, uh, which happened in November 2017, uh, uh, and then there were elections. Uh, so we're hoping that they were going to come back in 2020. We then continued with these discussions. Unfortunately, we then uh, uh, the world, world was locked down because of COVID-19. We are hopeful that uh, 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 if all things go according to plan, that before the end of this year, the officials of the, uh, from the Office of the Register General might be coming to South Africa. We do not have dates yet because discussions are ongoing. Uh, the ambassador at the embassy is, is uh, actually leading uh, these discussions with the uh, government in Zimbabwe. So we await for announcement by the Zimbabwean government after they have consulted with the South African government on when they will be coming to document Zimbabweans who do not have birth certificates, IDs, and the passports. The, the, these, these are the issues uh, that are happening around the question of documentation. Thank you.